everyone and thanks for logging back on to the channel in today's video this is going to be a short shopping haul i don't shop as much as i used to anymore but whenever i find something and i think it's just an awesome deal and i think you might be interested i'll jump on here and share those items with you so recently i just wanted to get out the house and take a break and i found myself going to at home i did purchase uh, or replace uh, king size pillows that i needed to complete my master bedroom so i've already put those in the room if you have not seen the video of the master bedroom remodel where i had a team come in and i had drywall work that needed to be done i got that done uh, we dumped the entire room. We painted everything, um, three, three different uh, colors. I have the base of the wall or the majority of the wall is agreeable gray. And then I have an accent wall that is dovetail. Those are by Sherwin-Williams. And then by, I think it's PPJ, uh, PPG, not PPJ. I believe it's PPG. I have a metallic uh, flint lock i believe is uh the name uh, i have a metallic paint that is in all three of my tray ceilings above the bed above the sitting area and as you enter the room i then had the bathroom painted agreeable gray uh an accent wall which is also dovetail so that was a major remodel major renovation uh, or overhaul i've been waiting to get my bath uh bathroom and bedroom painted for nearly three years and let me just sit back because i think i'm sitting uh too close to the camera i've been waiting to paint or do that project for almost three years i've been in this home almost three years and i finally 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 uh got it to look the way that i want it to look so if you haven't seen those videos then uh please do log on and check them out so for this shopping haul I went to uh, Home Goods, as I said, and just picked up a few things, not that much. Um, this Home Goods is uh, dual uh, shared with TJ Maxx. So I was on the Home Goods side and I saw these beautiful glasses. It says the look of glass with the convenience of plastic. So these are plastic glasses. I'm gonna try to take the shine off of it, but it's gold at the bottom and then it's the clear plastic cover or plastic top. Let me just open this and see if I can give you a better look. While I'm doing this, well, it came out much quicker than what I thought. So this is plastic. You can see the light is reflecting off the gold, but this bottom half right here is gold and then the top is plastic, plastic. Now, when I originally purchased them, I actually thought they were glass. They look so nice, but now that I'm reading, it only makes sense because I'm getting six for $9.99. So you don't have to worry about anything breaking, but you have the two-tone and you have that touch of bling if that's what you're looking for. So six of these uh, for $9.99 is what I got. And uh, again, uh, obviously I wouldn't have put them in the microwave, but it says don't put them in the dishwasher either. So 15 ounce gold-based stemless tumblers so it's just something that adds a little flair or pizzazz to an otherwise uh plain table and then you can bring in a, a gold centerpiece you can bring in uh gold flatware i do have flatware that's gold uh you can bring in charging plates that has the gold around it it's just a matter of understanding how you can mix and match your colors. I call that the color palette series to understand how to create a cohesive design. Uh, in addition, this did not come from Home Goods, but let me show you something else that did, and I saw this. I have a lot of pumpkins. To me, I have a lot of pumpkins, but this one just really caught my eye because it was more of a, um, this, this, uh, it really feels like a pine cone that's uh, been spray painted. 
uh, and then they have the white sticks in there. I don't know what type of sticks they are, but this one just really, really caught my eye because of the uniqueness of the design, and that is two-toned. Uh, I loved it. Uh, $12.99. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to, I'm already about ready to roll out my fold. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking around my house. This is the open, uh, concept plan. I live in an open concept plan home, so I can just look to my left and right. I'm sitting in my formal living room, uh, 15 paces is the dining room table and 15 paces the other way is the foyer entry. So I can just look around this entire space and everything is decorated. I'm getting ready to tear it all down and bring out all of the fall decor. So this I'm going to put out really soon in one of these areas. If not on this side, it's gonna be on the other side of the house. I couldn't help but uh, get this one as well. This is more of the traditional pumpkin color. Um, it too has the same look and feel, except for it is orange. I really like the richness of the color, the vibrant color. Uh, this one is, uh, the stem is a little bit different. Uh, it's sturdy at first. I was like, okay, is this gonna pull out? But everything is good. And uh, it just says wooden wooden seasonal decor that's all it says wooden seasonal decor and this one too was $12.99 so each one of these was $12.99 each I believe it's an awesome price you just have to be really careful so that you don't push or squish these and uh, I have a special place to put them so that that does not happen and part of the little paper is coming off I don't know why but uh let me just check it right quick to make sure. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of the, you gotta be careful because see, I already have one little small piece um, of the tip. You gotta be really careful. Um, I'm trying to show you, I got one little small piece of the tip that has broken off and that's really no big deal because I don't even see where it broke off from, but you just gotta be really careful uh, with this so that you don't end up, you don't end up breaking uh, it. So while I was also in home goods, I couldn't resist going down the candle aisle. I, if, if I've said once, I've said pretty much every video that I've had candles that I love candles. I absolutely love candles. Now this one is, it wasn't like it had, you know, such this, uh, smell or fragrance that I just couldn't resist. What I couldn't resist is the jar. I like when they are already decorative jars so that I don't have to put them down into the holders that you get from Bath and Body Works. Um, the tassel was just an added bonus. Uh, it has a little bling to it, but you know, that's fine. Um, so this one is, it says House of Harlow uh 1060 and this one was 12.99 now i'm gonna go ahead and open it it has the let me show you it has the velcro this is velcro right here it's a velcro little circular disc right here and then this is velcro right here so you see that's how they kept it closed right but i'm gonna just take that off and see it just smells fresh it very wick but it's it's the jar that attracted me to this it is the beveled part of the jar and how it just looks decorative uh all by itself that's what i really like so when i purchase most times i'll purchase in pairs or colors so this one is the clear jar. And of course, I had to get one that's more, I'm just gonna say that would have been in the silver family, but it is clear. And uh, this one is gonna be in the gold or champagne family. I just needed a jar that had more of a color uh, to it. Uh, Velcro again, so no big surprise there. This one too has a tassel. Both of them have a tassel and you see it has the little bling iron there. So I will make sure I keep these tassels. They're just nice to have, even if you do away with the jar. And uh, let's see what's going on with this one. 
Um, this one actually smells like a uh, pumpkin pie. Um, I do remember uh, smelling this one in the store and it's the um, pumpkin or sweet potato pie uh, as how it would smell fresh out the oven. So I wanted that one to be somewhere close to that area so that scent can float through the house. I do have a table close to the uh, breakfast nook area that has a lamp on it that I always put a candle. So one of these candles I likely um, would put there. And so lastly, I have one more item that I'm going to share with you in this shopping haul. I'm going to put all this stuff away. But um, this, I only bought one with me. Uh, I have six of them. So I'll show you the container or the wrapping that it came in. Uh, it's, it's a nice town. Uh, of course, these are curtains. Um, it is sage green. They are 52 inches wide by 108 inches long. I like my curtains really to come from the top of the ceiling all the way down to the floor. It gives more height. It makes the ceiling appear to be uh, higher, which is um, said to be more of a luxurious look. I found that to be true. So I have taken it out the pack. I ordered these from Amazon. I ordered these uh, during the Amazon Prime. Um, wasn't really sure if I wanted them, but if I was gonna get them, I wanted to get them during Prime. And uh, they were a few dollars off. So they come two to a pair um, or two uh, a pair. Each packet is a pair. So I have four packets, so that means I have eight uh, individual panels. Uh, in my bedroom, I have four windows. And so in my bedroom, I have four windows. In my uh, family room, I have four windows. And all of my curtain rods hang the same height, 108 inches. So I can move these from room to room. And all I have to do is pop them on the um, rod that's already there. I don't have to worry about adjusting anything. But this sage green, it's a very light green. It's the uh, style that I always get. I have on occasion uh, hooked the rings here and kind of just folded this back. It, I, I did it and I was like, that don't even make any sense. But then it gave a different look uh, with these rings not being through um, the actual rod. It's something that had to grow on me, but now I do it all the time and I like it. That's when I want the curtain to sweep the floor a little bit more. But what I'm showing you is I've opened out the panel a little bit. So this is the sage color. This is, uh, I've always gotten um, very great, very good quality um, curtains or drapes from Amazon. Uh, this is stepping out of the comfort zone a little bit. I'm actually getting these, believe it or not, for spring next year. So I just wanted to go ahead and get them. Uh, we're getting ready to go into the fall, but I would not make my curtains this light uh, for the fall unless I specifically um, had a bedroom that was designed with a spread that was this color. I do have a bedroom that has a spread uh, that's close to this, but uh, I recently put new carpet in there and the carpet is much darker than what I thought it would be, what I anticipated it would be. So uh, because of the carpet alone, more than likely I'm gonna go primarily neutrals, to be honest. It was a, um, it was a situation where the carpet needed to be replaced and I just wanted a uh, new, but not necessarily uh, the highest price. So once I did the padding and the carpet and the labor, I was okay with just having new, newer or brand new carpet and padding put down in uh, rooms that drastically uh, or so desperately need it. Um, but I probably will not put this light of a curtain with carpet that is really like uh, in the walnut family, uh, pecan walnut color. That's the color palette. More than likely, I would not. If, if I ever did, what you do is you pull that color up to the bed and then accessorize 
from the floor to the bed with the walnut pecan. You can put these, but you got to blend this somewhere uh, in and around the bed or on the wall or something to tie it all together. You don't want to make it look like you just took everything that was left over and put it in that room unless eclectic is the look that you were going for. Okay, so 52 inches by 108. And of course, you know, I can be pulling this out my lap all day, but you can see all 108 inches are here, right? It's just, it's very long. It's a lot, right? And with that, I think that's all that I have to show and share for this video. Thanks for logging in. And again, if you have not checked out uh, my master bedroom remodel or the master bathroom remodel, make sure that you tap into those videos next. And it'll just give you an idea of how you too can make your master bathroom and bedroom a very uh, cozy, luxurious sanctuary of your very own. And with that, thanks again. And I will see you in the next one.